Hello friends, welcome to another video on how to make use of functions and shortcuts in Google Sheet. In this video, we are going to understand about HLOOKUP as a function. Many of you would have used VLOOKUP, which we call it as a vertical lookup, uh, to find matching values between two columns. But in this video, we are going to understand about HLOOKUP, which is horizontal lookup. So what is HLOOKUP? And using HLOOKUP, how can we make a two-way lookup. So we have already seen how to do two-way lookup using X lookup. We have also seen how to do two-way lookup using V lookup. Now we will see how to do a two-way lookup using H lookup also. First, we will understand H lookup as a standalone uh, formula. Then we will see how to use H lookup to make a uh, two-way lookup. We are not going to use H lookup alone, but we are going to use H lookup and match function together. So first, let's understand H lookup. So I say is equal to H lookup. Then I need to select a search key. So what is a search key? I need to give one of the column headers here. So if you see here, I have role of a player, name of a player, whether he's a batsman, wicketkeeper batsman, or an all-rounder batsman, name of the player, his batting average, strike rate, and total run score. Now let us say if I want to understand uh, the total run score, if that is going to be my search key, let me select total run score. Okay. Then I put a comma. Then I need to select my range. So by range, what we mean is we by range we mean the entire database. Let's say I'm going to select this entire database. Okay. Then I need to give my index. So what is index? So for this particular column, which is total run score, which particular row value you want. For example, if this is one, then this will be two, three, four, five. It goes like this. So let's say I'm going to say five comma. And again, you want this data sorted or you want this data as it is. So I'm going to say false. Right. Now if we hit enter, you get 481. Why 481? One, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth row. So this particular column, and I need to get my fifth row. I got this value. Now, this is how HLOOKUP as a function works. Now, if I need the seventh value, eighth value, what I need to do, I need to go here and change it to seven. If I change it to seven, I get 480. If I change it to eight, I get 487. So this is re relatively difficult because we cannot every time go into the formula and keep changing. So this is a static function. When I say static, if you create it once, it remains like this. So how to make this H lookup as a dynamic function so that we will be able to do a two-way lookup using H lookup function. So that's what we are going to see as the second part of this video. So what I have done here is I have created a validation for batting average, strike rate, and total run score. So here, if you see in dropdown, I'll have batting average, strike rate, and total run score. And similarly, I have created a validation for batsman name or name of the player. So here I have these players name listed. So at this point of time, let's say I have uh, Duplessis name selected, which is second in the row. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same HLOOKUP function. So is equal to HLOOKUP open brackets. Now my search key will be what I'm going to select in this particular cell. So now batting average is selected. So I'm going to select batting average. Okay. I put a comma. Okay. Now I'm going to select the entire data range. Then I put a comma. And let's say I want batting average of the batting average of Moin Ali. So one, two, three, four. I can put four here. And then I can say comma and I can type false and I can close this. So let me put false in word of quotes. So what I will get is I will get Moinelli's batting average. Okay, fine. Now for a minute, let's understand how this match function works, right? So how match function works. If you remember in one of our previous videos, I have explained match, but let me explain again. So I say match search key. So the name of the player here will be my search key, comma, range. I'm going to select the range from here, comma, then search type. For exact match, I need to put zero. So 
So I'm going to say zero and then I'm going to hit enter. So when I do this, what this uh, match function will do, the match function will give me the order in which this name is available in this particular column. So instead of part duplicity, if I'm going to select KL Rahul, it will say KL Rahul is sixth from the top. If I'm going to select, let's say Hardik Pandya in the drop down, Hardik Pandya will be eight. So this number that we are going to uh, enter, the row number that we are going to enter in our HLOOKUP formula, we are going to make it dynamic. How are we going to make it dynamic? Instead of directly entering this, I'm going to replace this value with match. So I type match. My search key will be the name of the batsman. Comma. My search range will be from the top. And for an exact match, I'm going to say zero. And I'm going to close my bracket. Now, if I hit enter, I get Hardik Pandya's batting average. So what I can do here is I can say, no, I don't want batting average. I need total runs. Then I will get Hardik Pandya's total runs. No, I need total runs of not Hardik Pandya, but Sanju Samson. Then I get Sanju Samson's run. So this is what we call it as a two-way lookup. So we want a particular value of a column and a cell, the coinciding point of a column and cell. That's what we call it as a two-way lookup. So here we have used a used HLOOKUP as a uh, function to get the two-way lookup. And HLOOKUP syntax as such have the row number which you need for a particular column. So what we have done is we have made the row number as a dynamic uh, field by converting it into a match function. And we have a separate search key for the column name and we have a separate search key for the match function. So this search key for match, fu match function will decide what will be the row number. Uh, friends, I hope you understood how HLOOKUP as a formula works and how we can combine HLOOKUP and the match function to create a two-way lookup. Thank you, friends. Thanks for your time. See you on another video on how to make use of uh, Excel formulas and functions in Google Sheet. Thank you.